In the heart of Tanzania, there exists a tribe with a remarkable connection to nature. Among the Hadza people, an ancient tradition has persisted through generations, a language not of words but of melodies that harmonize with the songs of birds. And in today's video, we will be disclosing how they talk to birds in their unique language or signs. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Here we begin. In northern Tanzania, near Lake Eyasi, there is a group called the Hadza. They have lived there for a long time, but no one knows exactly how long. They are known as hunters and gatherers, hunting animals and gathering food from the land. The Hadza have their own unique way of understanding their history through food. They believe that their ancestors used to easily catch wild animals just by looking at them. But things have changed now. The Hadza face challenges like farms taking up their hunting grounds. They live in small camps and make decisions together. In their community, everyone is treated equally, with no one having more power than others. So the popular thing here is they talk to birds, but how? When it comes to talking to birds, they frequently have in-depth knowledge of the regional ecologies and have developed the ability to monitor and comprehend animal behavior through many generations. They got this knowledge from their ancestors many years ago, and it has passed through different generations. Observing the birds. The Hadza tribe frequently devote much time to monitoring and studying various creatures, especially birds. They may interpret the behaviors of birds as signals or messages by carefully monitoring how they behave. For instance, particular bird sounds or behaviors may signal the presence of particular species, particular weather patterns, or even possible risks. Communication occurs in various methods. Now, after observing and using their knowledge, they use various communication methods. For example, some tribes mimic the vocalizations and cries of various bird species. They could try to interact with or communicate with birds or other members of their society by mimicking bird noises. This custom is prevalent throughout the world's civilizations. Symbolic gestures are also fascinating in Hadzabi's interaction with birds. They imitate avian behaviors with their hands, arms, and body motions, resulting in visual communication. These actions help build rapport, start conversations, and communicate ideas, strengthening the bond between people and birds. Well, we must say, this is indeed an art of communicating with species like birds. This has not been seen anywhere else and is such an amazing and intriguing thing to come across. It seems so cool. Honeybees are the favorite or most popular birds they talk to. Surprisingly, though they communicate with various species, the Hadza's favorite of the available commodities is honey. However, beehives are difficult to access and much harder to detect since they are high up in thick-trunked baobab trees and ferociously defended by their stinging inhabitants. An innocent black and white bird the size of a robin, the greater honey guide, enters. Greater honey guides, a separate species of the honey guide family, are excellent hive finders and enjoy grubs and beeswax. According to some estimates, this is advantageous for the Hadza, who acquire roughly 15% of their calories from honey. So whenever they wish to find honey, the Hadza people yell and whistle a particular song. And then, a honey guide will fly into the camp if one is nearby, chatting and fluttering its feathers. Then, the Hadza pursue it while crying and gathering their axes and torches. They locate the right tree and then smoke out the bees, cut it open, and remove the tasty combs from the nest by following the honey guide until it settles close to the location of its cargo. The honey guide continues to observe. Also, as we know, honey is one of the most energy-rich foods, and when it comes to Africa, African bees are highly aggressive and used to harm any intruder. Even the experts are afraid of them, but the Hadza people proved it to be something else. They are like friends to these bees and know how to subdue bee defense. They wedge a bundle of dry wood wrapped in palm fronds over a long pole, then set the bundle on fire, hoist it up, and rest it against a beehive in a tree. When most of the bees are smoked out of that beehive, the people chop the tree, tolerate the stings of these bees that remain and scoop out the liquid gold within, which we call honey, and the tribe continues to take the amount of honey they need. Now you know how this tribe talks to the birds and takes their help. So this is how the Hadza tribe talk to birds. Isn't it surprising enough? Share your views in the comments below and subscribe for more such videos.